Hi everybody and welcome to my home studio. Uh, my name is Jeroni Mazduko and I hope you're doing well. For today uh, I would like to talk about navigating through your project. <laughs> This project counts up to uh, 60 tracks and uh, I've got a bunch of returns. So it's really hard to navigate through it when you're just creating your song. This is a song called Old School vs New School. Uh, it's on my album. Uh, you can look it up on Spotify, Hieronymus Duco, and you can uh, listen to it over there. Of course, what we did in Ableton Live 9 is go through the ruler over here and just drag it around, you know? Just drag it down and you will zoom in and drag it up, you will zoom out. And this is a way to navigate through your project. This is really useful when you're not really into the shortcuts yet. Ever since Ableton Live 10 came out, we can use the scroll wheel to navigate through our project. So just the scroll wheel is moving up and down. And if you hold control, you can zoom, you can zoom in. So, and wherever the cursor is, this is where I'm going to zoom in. So, cursor is over here, and I can zoom in, and can zoom out again. If I'm over here and I hold shift, I can go to the left, and I can go to the right. If I hover over a track, and hold alt, well, I can make this track bigger. Ever since uh, Ableton, 10.1 came out, we have had some other options. When I highlight this piece over here and I want to look to it, I can hit Z and now it's really big and I can hit X. I use this a lot, really with automation, like over here with the vocoder, highlight it and hit Z and you can really look closely to what you're doing. Hit X again and you're back. We've got some other things that we can do. So now when I just open this up, uh, drag it with Alt and make this bigger again. Okay, and zoom in a little. Now, uh, if I hit H, all the tracks become little again. And when I hit this again, I go back to uh, where I was before. If I hit W, the whole project zooms in horizontally and you can see everything. When you hover over a track and you hold Alt, you can collapse all the tracks at once. So those are the functions to see where you are on the screen. There are a couple of tricks that I like as well to navigate. I also like uh, to use the markers to navigate. So over here, I've got marker one, two, three, four, uh, until seven. And I gave them a shortcut. When I hit Control and K, I can see all the shortcuts. And over here you can see like Shift 1 is my shortcut to go uh, to marker 1. And Shift 2 is marker 2. So let's go back. So if I want to go to the beginning of my song, I just hit Shift 1. There we go. So this is really easy to navigate and even when I zoom in, I can use it to see where I am in the song. Really helpful. To navigate through my project and to see what each individual track is doing, I color code my tracks. So over here, all my drums are blue, bass is red, green are my guitars, uh, yellow, uh, those are uh, my synthesizers or everything with keys. And here the white stuff are vocals and leads. This is a project that I made like a half a year ago. And when I open it up, I immediately can see like, oh, this is my bass. So um, that's really helpful. And I'll do this with every single project. If you learned something or liked it, please give me the thumbs up. Subscribe. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.